Hey there viewers, my name is Trainski and welcome back to our Hades run here. Had a decent amount of success in the first two episodes of the, the go here. Definitely happy to not be losing quite as many death defiances as we used to. Actually, yeah, I didn't quite think it through, but last run... How many death defiances did I lose in total? Lost three, and then lost four, so I lost seven death defiances. We had eight lives total, and <laughs> still didn't pull through. Ouch. That hurts to put it in that terms, but this time around, lost no death defenses to Lerny and made it through Coliseum only losing one, which is definitely a lot better than our usual and a whole lot more impressive than that last run when we start thinking about it. But we're hoping to see some nice things out of exclusive access as we make our way up to the Temple of Sticks. We'll see when we get up there, so let's make our way on up. Crossing the fingers that we get a lot of gold errands in the entryway here, because we all know that that means good fortune for the rest of the run. Oh, one. At least one. So that's something. Okay. No extra luck today, unfortunately, but at least we're not running a deficit. And then, okay. Nice cheap Artemis. All right, we'll see what we can afford out of the shop here at the end. It's not going to be the first bite this time, by the way. Um, it will be the second one. No, I meant not the third. <laughs> oh, man. Turns out it's really hard to just randomly guess that number correctly. Who would have thought? Got it first try, and I thought it was just smooth sailing from then air. Okay, though, all of our boons are from these. I don't know. Are we going to do better? I was going to, I guess I should finish that thought because the boons are from these weaker paths, but I don't know if we're going to be doing better against the mini bosses or better against the giant rooms in terms of clearing here. Everything might be hell for all we know. You know what? Let's go with the money first. It's a little bit safe we get a boon out of it anyway, because we we'll probably will be buying that Artemis boon from the shop. Definitely seems worth it here. Okay. Satyrs, not too bad for sure. Not amazing either though. A little bit longer than I would have liked. You never know how it's gonna go against the other tankier buddies on this floor here. Keep it moving along. Get out of here, you serpent shard. And also you, you satyr. Get out of here. Oh, okay. Oh, right. I never have problems with satyrs. I guess I shouldn't say never, because we probably will have problems with satyrs at some point, still in this run even. But I forgot that one of the big binaries of whether satyrs are an issue in this final section is if you have an Athena deflection boon. Because if you can deflect, you're, for whatever reason, my muscle memory always happens to hit that perfectly on those specific enemies. Everything else, and like when I'm just trying to dodge it, no such luck. Like, absolutely horrible, and it's a disaster. Holy, we burst through a giant rat here in record time. Oh, because reaching cross is pretty huge, actually, now that I think about it. Just getting through that shield faster is probably a pretty big advantage. That was sick. That went very well. Don't even remember what I was talking about because that went so well. But we'll run over here and we'll definitely pick up this boon right away. Critical effects dealing more damage to armor. That would have been a pretty cool alternative to our hammer because at this point i don't know if this would be worth it right we're already dealing with armor pretty quickly and our father doesn't get armor it would just help with the spawns the ads so pressure points puts us up to 19 percent critical in our attacks and if it happens to crit on something else like our cast then you know, all the better. Do you want? Know I'm gonna just go with pressure points because our cast also fires off twice. So that's kind of interesting, right? And then to get real 
wacky. Oh, I was going to reroll to try and get pressure points upgraded, but I think I'm actually just going to go with Kirby Shot. So that's a pretty huge upgrade, a 50% boost to damage. Pretty big deal. Okay, for the second one, I guess I should maybe try out one of these side chambers to see if it's significantly worse than the boss ones. Hermes or... You know, yeah, let's go Hermes. This one, I guess. The nice is I guess we can try and get maybe another auxiliary effect that affects the uh, Festive Fog in some way. Is there anything else? We have the damage reduction. That might be it actually. What else would I want? I guess something like Positive Outlook could be nice. Something that just has some more damage reduction in general. I don't think... Oh, or right, his call. I would definitely take Dynasis' call. I forgot that we're still missing a call. Like, maybe I should have gone for him first over uh, Hermes here, because Hermes has some amazing auxiliary boons, so I'm not quite so active with that. And I'm actually almost happy that we put off grabbing our hey, call until now. Oh, we won't get to find out how these big chambers are for now, I guess. But I'm happy that, yeah, we put off grabbing the call until now because it's going to be epic levels. So that's pretty sweet. Man, flurry cast is really tempting. But I'm going to reroll once. I really want attack speed. Ooh, okay, no attack speed. Ooh, 20% dodge chance is definitely interesting. Well, let's go for it. That's good speed, all right. It'll help out here in the long run, and there we go, the last little damage boost from Strong Drink. Full heal out of it as well. What are we up to with Strong Drink? 15? 15 indeed. Get me out of here. One sack coming right up. Not quite yet. We're definitely feeling comfortable enough to try a chamber too. Actually, yeah, we definitely want to go for Dionysus here. No reason to turn up a perfectly good boon opportunity. I should be able to finish this off fast enough now. Not too shabby. And actually, before we keep moving here, let's take a sip of my drink. Refilled it between runs. Might as well actually take advantage of the fact that we did so. No, not between runs, I guess, but between sections here. Okay, not too shabby at all. Yeah, as long as it's just armored foes. I'm not unhappy with that whatsoever. You can deal with bursting through that pretty quickly. I don't like the poison areas like this or in the butt, but we can also burst through quickly enough that I guess it didn't turn out to be as big of a problem as I was originally concerned about there. And those arrows that we're getting out from Artemis are super nice with the Malphon Fists. We punch so quickly that they just pump out damage. Oh, it's in this room. Don't get poisoned. Don't get poisoned. Oh my gosh, how did I get poisoned? Always got poisoned immediately after saying so. But yeah, the only antidote spot on this map, as far as I can tell, is right in the middle of all the most dangerous stuff so let's just play it safe eh? <laughs> just chill out back here do our thing fire off a couple of those look at that a couple of those move two more Oh jeez. Oh, I thought for sure I would get poisoned as I went into the top left there, but the, the vent just ran out as we went up. Oh, and then I immediately get poisoned after, of course, but I don't even care. I'm just happy that that one little piece of the bliss and all the, the chaos and the, the ruin and destruction around us. Also, sneaking into that one poisoned on the corner there. Way to go, muscle memory. I accept this message. And there's the call. And we will answer. 
for sure. Down the chute. Okay. Still going all right so far. We're managing to hold on to our death defiance, unlike last time. So that's that's a huge advantage. Um, yeah, do you know what? I think we'll keep going. Having enough money saved up, we could even try and get um, our one lost death defiance back potentially. So we have rerolls left for the wells as well. Could be really good. Buddies. Okay, I was worried for a second there that I'd misjudged how long the room was going to take, but we, I think we only took four or five damage from boys. Not too shabby, all things considered. Let's just keep it moving here, no problems. Oh boy. Here we are. Big room, but I managed to deflect at least one of the poison darts back at that Crusader, so yeah, yeah go ahead. Oh, I thought I might have dodged a little bit short there and then just gun hit right in the face with the dart, but apparently not, so hurrah. Take what we can get. Oh, that's not what I meant to do, but um, I guess we'll also take it. Actually, yeah, I should be using those. We can only use them once per encounter. There's no reason to save them up for the final fight anyway. I always forget about that. Oh my gosh, poison hit. Hey, there we go, though. Not too shabby. Still once more. Bit of max health before the end. Skelly didn't even uh, have to die this time. Look at that. And okay. You must be hungry, huh? I th still think I'm gonna go for it. I almost no Actually, yeah, I was gonna say yeah, almost no wells of Charon, but we might have gotten no wells of Charon in the Temple of Sticks so far. Is that right? That doesn't seem right. That's very unfortunate. But it's not too late to change that. And we do have enough money to take good advantage of one if we do find it, so fingers are crossed. Oh my gosh, jump between the serpent shards a little more judiciously here. Said judicially, more like deliciously there. back and forth. Nobody gets a chance to shoot. Perfect. Still no well of Charon. Holy. Take a sip. Just to give me some spirits here. Are we in the final fight? Oh my gosh, we're in the final fight too. And we'll never, we'll never get to see any upgrades in this final section, I guess. It just wasn't meant to be. Quickly grab an antidote there, but otherwise this fight. Oh my gosh! Actually, right again doesn't matter if we waste that here, but it wasn't what I was meaning to do was trying to just launch out for a call. Whoops. And then, hmm, more damage on criticals is kind of tempting their attack, but I think I will go with the call here. That's a pretty nice little bonus. Man, it almost seems like a shame not to use. Um, our last two faded persuasions here, but I guess that's just the way she goes. We at least get, have a, some outlet for our money here, so that's something. Hmm, a little bit more critical. Is that better than this? It does do wonders with our attack. Just because, yeah, our attack has a chance to critical, and then our criticals deal extra damage as well. Hmm. Three damage per action better. That's kind of interesting. It's just when we hit with the attack or the special that these launch out. Three every time. You know, let's go with the, the riskier rolls. Nothing but crits. 
And I guess there's nothing to do but I don't know. once more offers to Cerberus one of his favorite sacks. Okie dokie. Bye for now, boy. Here it goes. In a good place for death defiance, but let's not get too cocky about that. Do have to decide right away here as we start the fight if I want to try and observe the strategy we discovered last time around. Try and play a little more defensively in the start here, circle around, and maybe just launch some uh, trippy Again, shots in from the distance. Me from all my responsibilities back at the house. I'm sure there's nothing too important anyway. So yeah, this is our equivalent of like tossing a football around, right, Dad? <laughs> Trying to murder each other. Pretty much the same thing. I also immediately disregarded everything I was just talking about and went face first into the fray here, which is probably not a great idea. We're at least. Oh, we dodged the first one, but not the second one. Ouch. Okay, that's gonna explode bottom left. There we go. Oh my gosh, it's Butterfly Buddy, I do not like Butterfly Buddy. Oh jeez. Okay, let's... Ouch! Oh, that does 100 damage? Really? Does that always do that much damage? Or I wonder what exactly is making it hit critical levels today, but okay. I can hit twice by anything. Not get hit by that again. Oh, definitely don't get hit by that again. That deals heavy damage. And we're actually going to manage to kill off the mini boss before we pass on to the next stage where he spawns the next instead of them. So that's good, at the very least. Let's, yeah, clear skulls. Play it safe, clear skulls. Get poisoned down on uh, multiple enemies at once. That's advantageous. Wow, it's like my the auto aim. Because, yeah, those skills auto target just a little bit. It like knew where the butterfly was going to be. That was interesting. Okay, one butterfly down. Where are you? Oh, there's almost down. But up like this, cannot lose. Fines here. Oh, jeez, get out there. Oh, it did explode. And we got hit right as it, it popped the skull in the bottom. That's super unfortunate. It's so close to the end of this health bar. My father. Man, okay. Still two of those to get through, too. Oh, just clicked my, my hit joint a little bit. Okay, all of the focus. The concentration, get out of the spin attack, for sure. It's double spin, oh, oh I thought I dodged too early, for sure. Get the poison damage down, and then we get the heck out of there. That, oh, that's just my green hands. Oh, that's... There we go, that's... Power of a thousand suns. Oh, jeez. Oh, I was stunned by the pot and couldn't dodge. That's so rough. I mean, it's my fault for hitting the pot in the first place, but... Son of a gun. <laughs> Out of there, oh. Why does it feel like you're dealing so much damage this time around? There? I feel like normally that that one spear throw doesn't hit me for a hundred damage and even that the uh, power of thousand suns hitting me for twenty each tick seems brutal. Oh this is what I was trying to do. Oh get out of there. <laughs> Become too prideful with me, boy. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I had so much hope. <laughs> Even with the, the losing of the debt to I had so much hope. And then uh, okay, oh boy, to stand right in the middle of that, that server's charge. 
Oh wow, my headphones are really uneven. That must have been this whole time too. Whoops. <laughs> but then it was still a fun one. Definitely a little bit interesting. Had a lot of power just off of our attack damage there, which is nice to see. Would have been really nice to get the attack damage boost off of Hermes at the end there. But all in all, still a really fun one. Um, I guess even alone, not losing any death defiance to our Hydra pal, that puts that run in, in the top tier in terms of successes. Hopefully, that means we're moving towards getting back on track to uh, having successful runs and actually getting some victories in the game. I guess a lot of games follow that kind of formula, right? You gotta regress before you can progress. So just getting through that phase, hopefully at the end here, and maybe just maybe one of these days we'll be able to unveil Skelly's statue because it's killing me to see what that might be. But regardless, I definitely had a lot of fun of on this today. Definitely. You, Hope that you enjoyed watching as well. If you did, definitely shoot me a subscription if you want to be notified of whenever these videos go up. Also, would really appreciate a like if you enjoyed the episode. Leave any comments with thoughts, opinions, complaints, all that good stuff. And no matter what, I hope that you had a great morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you out there. And I hope to see you in the next one. I'll see you soon. See ya.